Well, this is the morning after or the day after we had a little bit of a snowstorm. And you might be able to see there's still snow on the roof here. There's uh, some places where it's starting to melt off because the snow, the storm has left and the sun's out a little bit, so it's a lot better. But I wanted to show you the uh, what happened to temperatures in here. Because some of you might have been following how I, I want to grow some things in here during the winter and how the inside versus the outside temperatures change and also the interaction of the, how this water uh, changes things because it comes out of a fish pond in the corner and the fish pond's like four feet deep or something like that so if there is some heat extracted out of that pond and it's circulated around in here and that does help some so let me show you what the temperature is. See right now the water temperature in the pond is 42.9 degrees I think it was uh, before the snowstorm it was 50 degrees or something like that. At the current time in here, it is uh, about uh, 52 degrees, but I don't know if you can see that, but in the bottom number there is uh, 32 degrees. Uh, that, shows, that tells you how what the coldest it got here last night. Outside, it was uh, 17 degrees. So there's a differential temperature there that's important. So 32 is the maximum we got while it was 17 degrees outside. That's uh, 12, 13, 14, I think 15 degrees if I'm uh, adding that up right in my head. So it's it stayed 15 degrees warmer in here than outside. So that's important. And uh, the other thing to, well, I want to show you is that the, uh, the temperature in the fish pond did go down a little bit. But there's no ice in here, although there shouldn't be. But there isn't. Everything's still flowing, and uh, things are growing. As you can see, the tomatoes here, they, uh, even though the thermometer said it got down to 32 degrees, they still look good. If Usually when tomatoes get bit with uh, frost, you know, even hours afterward, they'll, they'll be at least wilty looking. These still look pretty healthy, so they're, they're viable. They're still good. And, of course... The uh, broccoli and those kind of things <laughs> doesn't bother them a bit. They don't, they don't care if they did freeze. So everything's doing quite well in here. So that's kind of how the temperatures went in here overnight and uh, the sudden cool down. And uh, so th I think this is going to work. So if some of you might you know have a greenhouse or thinking about making one and you're in a northern climate. Well, I'm, you know, I'm not that far north. We're in northern Utah. But we do get winter here, you know, and it's cold. And I would like to try to grow some things in here during the winter, but I really I really can't afford to just heat this place with propane or something, because that, that's, that's a lot of money. But it does seem to stay warm enough in here for a lot of the cold weather plants, like lettuce and broccoli and cauliflower and stuff like that. So you can grow things in the wintertime. You can. Now, I have the way I've got this all set up, uh, anybody can do this. This is quite simple. It took me a little time to do this, but it was not expensive. This is all just homemade, homemade stuff. Okay, and out here, it got down to 30 degrees. Let's see if you can see that better. But, and it was 9 degrees outside, like I said. Everything's still flowing, so doing good. Today, it got down to 26 outside, I think, and it's got down to 34 degrees in here. And you can see everything is still flowing. Everything's still running. And uh, here's the uh, broccoli. And you can see that the broccoli and so forth is doing quite well. And also, this these lettuce plants here are doing well. And of course, the water temperature is uh, 42 degrees. Okay, uh, today it got down to five degrees outside, and if you look inside here, I don't know if you can see that, but it says 27 was the maximum or minimum temperature in here overnight. Now there's no heat in here. But it's uh, it's just the water coming out of there, I guess, that's heating it up. But it's 27 right now, and it's, uh, well, it's 27. It was a low last night inside the greenhouse. And it's 34 in here at the moment, at least right there. 
When you look at the larger thermometer here, it also says 34. And this one says 47. I don't know why that is. That's interesting. Anyway. <laughs> so the water's still flowing. There's no ice anywhere. That's very good. Let's uh, check down here. Yeah, see the water's still flowing. It's going out and uh, no ice. So it's working. Now the, these tomatoes, oh there's the tomatoes. It looks like there is some damage here. I can see frost here. Well, frost damage because the leaves are drooping a little bit. Anyway, it uh, it took that kind of cold to get it cold enough in here to do some damage. We'll find out later today when it warms up. It's nice and sunny today. It's still cold outside, but the sunshine should bring some heat in here and melt the snow off the roof, and we'll see what happens. Now, let's look at the... Uh, the uh, cauliflower, I think this is uh, broccoli, and that, that bro that's broccoli over there too. And this looks healthy, it looks like not, it's not damaged at all, so which is what you'd expect. And so is the lettuce, and then some onions over there. So that's doing well. Now, if you look here, the temperature of the water, oh, it's 39.9 degrees. I don't know if you can see that, but it's 39.9 degrees. That means about two feet down under the water, it's 39.9 degrees. And as you can see, there's still some fish food on the top of the water there. And that means that the fish are all kind of hibernating. They're not eating. So, uh, oh. interesting. And then over here, see the uh, celery is drooping a little bit, but usually that recovers. Uh, the uh, Again, the brassicas I've got over here, I think these are cauliflower or broccoli or something like that. They're doing fine. And there's some over here as well. They're doing fine. And there is uh, bok choy. You see, it looks like it looks like it's doing fine. It's not drooping. So that's how it is. The water's still flowing. Nothing's frozen. So there we go. Well, I have another video that you might find interesting. I filmed it about uh, four years ago. And it was before I had any of this water from the pond circulating in the greenhouse. I, I believe this grow bed and that grow bed were built, but they were just full of water. And what you'll see in that film is a detailed account of the temperatures at that time, and it dramatically shows how much the circulation of this water coming from the fish pond have made a dramatic difference in the temperatures that this wood greenhouse maintains without external heating. So I'll put a link down below if you want to watch it, and uh, I think you'll find it quite interesting.